In this video, we will see an example on phasors. Question If V1 is equal to minus 10 sin omega t minus 30 degree volt and V2 is equal to 20 cos omega t plus 45 degree volt, we have to find the addition of these two that is V is equal to V1 plus V2. So, solution for this will be first of all, we will write what is given. So let's copy it directly from here. So this is the value of V1. Now here we can see here it is given in minus sign form. So first of all we need to convert this into its standard form and the standard form is here we have to replace this minus sign by plus cosine. So let's go to the basics how we can convert minus sign into plus cosine so here this is plus cos omega t and this is minus cos omega t this is plus sin omega t and this is minus sin omega t and phasor rotate in this direction so here it is minus sin that is minus sin omega t and we need to convert this into cos omega t so we have to move from here to here and the angle difference is 90 degree and we are rotating in counterclockwise direction that means we have to add 90 degree that means the formula will be cos omega t or let's write sin minus sin omega t first so the formula will be minus sin omega t is equal to cos omega t cos omega t plus 90 degree plus 90 degree so let's substitute in place of this minus sign we can substitute this value cos omega t plus 90 degree so it will be v1 is equal to this 10 as it is now in place of this minus sign we can substitute cos omega t plus 90 degree so cos this omega t minus 30 degree as it is just we have to add 90 degree to it and since it is a voltage so its unit will be volts now let's simplify this so v1 is equal to 10 cos in bracket omega t and this will be plus 60 degree volt now this is the standard form and it is given in time domain format so we have to convert it into its equivalent phasor domain format so therefore capital v1 is equal to 10 at an angle 60 degree and this is called as polar form polar form of phasor and this is given in time domain format now we will do the same for v2 so let's copy it now here we can clearly see the v2 is given in standard format so we don't need to change anything just we can directly convert this time domain format into its equivalent phasor domain format so this will be capital v2 is equal to 20 at an angle 45 degree since it is a voltage so its unit will be volts here also the unit will be volts it will be volts here and this is called as polar form now what we have to do we have to add v1 plus v2 so capital v1 plus capital v2 is equal to 10 at an angle 60 degree plus v2 value is 20 at an angle 45 degree now it is given in polar form and we know that here we have to do the addition and we know that addition addition and subtraction are better performed are better performed in rectangular form in rectangular 
फॉर्म एंड ऑल्सो रिमेंबर दैट मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड डिविजन आर बेटर परफॉर्म इन पोलर फॉर्म सो लेट्स कन्वर्ट देम सो हेयर दिस विल बी टेन एट एन एंगल सिक्सटी डिग्री नाउ हेयर दिस टेन इज आर एंड दिस सिक्सटी डिग्री इज फाइव द फॉर्मूला टू कन्वर्ट पोलर फॉर्म टू रेक्टेंगुलर फॉर्म इज आर इन ब्रैकेट कॉस फाइव प्लस जे साइन फाइव नाउ दिस विल बी द वैल्यू ऑफ आर इज टेन इन ब्रैकेट कॉस फाइव द वैल्यू ऑफ फाइव इज सिक्सटी डिग्री प्लस जे साइन फाइव द वैल्यू ऑफ फाइव इज अगेन सिक्सटी डिग्री सो इफ वी सॉल्व दिस इन कैलकुलेटर so this will be 10 in bracket cos 60 plus i into sin 60 so this will be 5u 5u plus j 5u plus j 8.66 8.66 and this is the rectangular form rectangular form now we will do the same for this 20 at an angle 45 degree 20 at an angle 45 degree so again the formula will be same let's copy it from here and the value of r is 20 in bracket cos the value of phi is 45 plus j sin 45 and this will be now let's solve this in calculator so 20 in bracket cos 45 plus i into sin 45 so it is 14.14 14.14 plus j 14.14 so again this is the rectangular form rectangular form now we can easily add v1 and v2 and we can replace this polar form by its equivalent rectangular form so therefore capital v1 plus capital v2 is equal to this value 5 plus j 8.66 so 5 plus j 8. 66 plus 14.14 plus j 14.14 now here we have to add the real parts and then add the imaginary parts so here the real parts are 5 plus 14.14 so this will be 19.14 then plus j 8.66 plus 14.14 Eight point six six, then plus fourteen point fourteen. So it is twenty two point eight, twenty two point eight, and this is the answer for V one plus V two, and this answer is in rectangular form. Rectangular form, but we need to find the answer in time domain format. so we have to convert this into polar form first so let's convert this into convert convert it into polar form so the formula will be 19.14 plus j 22.8 is equal to the formula will be like this under root of x square x square plus y square at an angle tan inverse of y by x so here this is x and this is y so let's substitute the values so under root of x square x square is 19.14 square plus y square is 22. Eight square at an angle 
टेन इनवर्स ऑफ ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट एट डिवाइडेड बाय नाइनटीन पॉइंट फोर्टीन सो नाउ दिस विल बी अंडर रूट ऑफ नाइनटीन पॉइंट फोर्टीन स्क्वायर प्लस ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट एट स्क्वायर नाइनटीन पॉइंट फोर्टीन स्क्वायर प्लस ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट एट स्क्वायर सो इट इज ट्वेंटी नाइन पॉइंट सेवन सिक्स ट्वेंटी नाइन पॉइंट सेवन सिक्स एट एन एंगल नाउ दिस विल बी टेन इनवर्स ऑफ ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट एट डिवाइडेड बाय नाइनटीन पॉइंट फोर्टीन सो इट इज फोर्टी नाइन पॉइंट नाइन एट विच इज अप्रॉक्सीमेटली इक्वल टू वी कैन राइट फिफ्टी हेयर फिफ्टी डिग्री so this is the answer in polar form for this 19.19.14 plus j 22.8 which is v1 plus v2 so here this is v1 plus v2 and this is the phasor in polar form we can write phasors in either polar form or rectangular form so now we need the answer in time domain format so therefore v is equal to small v1 plus small v2 is equal to this will be 29.76 in cos omega t plus 50 degree so this is the answer in time domain format so this is how we can add two sinusoids by using phasors don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel thanks for watching